In the previous tutorial on this subject, I have introduced you to the mechanics of the movement. And the hands and the arms were following the rippling effect of the earth breathing with you. And we saw how receptive and passive limbs, loose joints, could allow the breath of the earth to expand and push the limbs up and on the retraction of the exhale, let the hands rest down. And the spirit of allowing a movement to happen, to just surf on its wave, this is the yin mood. Observe the lightness and droopiness of the movements, the joints, the hands. This is yin energy. Now observe how the hands become yang, how they seem to be pushing down and pulling up. Not only receiving a movement, but generating a movement. Now let's visualize the hands dipping into a mass of thick molasses-like texture. You can feel the resistance as you pull up and the resistance on the way down. This is what I call kneading the chi dough. Even as an observer, you can sense the resistance in the push, as well as in the stretching pull. In your own practice, explore various qualities. Sometimes play with the mood of yin, sometimes with the mood of yang, sometimes very light, breezy, sometimes liquid, sometimes massive, heavy. And you will find all the nuances between the yin and the yang, and you will find that there's always some yin in the yang, some yang in the yin. And through the practice, you may open up your senses, you may refine your perception, to the flow of chi, to its currents, its strength. And as a sailor knows how to channel the wind, you will channel the chi with your own quality and you can give it a direction. You can shape its course. This is what I call surfing the wave of chi.